lately everyone's been asking me to do some Adobe After Effects tutorials, and I'm still not completely familiar with the program, but I can do some things, so we're going to start off with some simple basic tutorials, and then work our way up to some more advanced things. So, in today's tutorial we'll be creating a simple Sin City effect, you know the effect where everything's black and white except the color of your choice, so that's what we're going to create today. So, anyways, let's get started. I'm using Adobe After Effects CS4. You might be using a different version, so there might be some different things, but it should be all uh, pretty much the same, but I don't know. So let's get started. Uh, right here, I'm going to import some media, so let's go to File, Import, File. And I just got this footage of a farm scene that I got from stockfootageforfree.com. It's a really great site. It's got high quality stock footage, and it's completely free to use, and you don't even need to ask for permission to use it, so it's royalty free. So here it is, I'm going to click and drag it and drop it right into our uh, new comp button and it will create a new composition for us. So here it is, now we can uh, duplicate this track quickly by hitting Control D or Command D if you're on a Mac and now we have two layers. And we're going to quickly turn off the visibility of the top layer by hitting this little uh, eyeball icon here. And okay, so now let's work with the second layer and we're going to go up here to Effect, Color Correction, Tint. And as you can see, the layer is now black and white. So now we can actually turn the visibility back on for our top layer. So go back here to where the eyeball icon used to be and simply click on it. And now uh, it has turned the visibility back on. So we now have one black and white layer and one colored layer. So what we're going to do now is go on the top layer. Make sure you're working with the top one. And we're going to go to Effect, Color Correction, Leave Color. Now what we're going to do now is take this little eyedropper tool here, just click on it, and then click on the color that you would want to keep. So there's only one red color in this entire scene. It's this red barn here. Everything else is a different color, so we're going to use this barn as our example. If we click on the barn, nothing appears to have happened yet, but if we go up here to amount to decolor, amount to decolor, and we put the percentage all the way up to 100, it starts to get rid of some of the colors, but it didn't really do anything yet. So what we're going to do is over here where it says match colors, using RGB, we're going to change this to using hue. And as you can see, it got rid of pretty much every color except for the reds. The barn is pretty much the only thing in color, everything else is in black and white. Now, you're probably not going to notice this, but if I zoom in here, you can see that uh, there are still some reds left in the tree, and in the fence a bit, and also in the background way in the distance over here. Now, uh, normally to fix this, you just uh, change the tolerance around, but uh, that doesn't give you too much control, so what I'm going to do is uh, create a mat around our barn. So let's go up here to the pen tool and I'm simply going to draw a shape around our barn. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. As you can see mine is nowhere near the shape of a barn and just like that it gets rid of most of the reds. So yeah, it pretty much got rid of all the reds. But you're going to want to animate this throughout your shot. This is also called rotoscoping and this is just so that you're always constantly getting rid of all the colors except for the reds. Now, like, let me show you what I mean by that. If we uh, play our footage here, it zooms in, but uh, sooner or later, the barn is going to go outside of our mat, and once it goes outside of our mat, it goes in black and white. So, what we want to do is animate the mat so that it's always constantly surrounding our barn. So, let's go back to the start here. Now, it's really easy to do this. What we're going to do is make sure that we're working with our top footage here. Hit the M key on your keyboard, and that uh, pops up our masking options. We're going to hit this little stopwatch icon next to mask path. Alright, so now what we can do is uh, just play through the footage. And uh, once it's about to exceed the mat area, like just about here, it's like just leaving it. All you got to do is go back to your selection edit tool and simply move this outside. And let's keep playing it. And it's just about to exit it right here, so all you got to do is move the mat so that it's constantly surrounding the barn. That's what you're looking for. And now if we play back, we got a simple animation of our mat, and it's always constantly surrounding our barn, which means that there's always going to be 100% uh, no color except for the barn and the barn only. So that's uh, basically it for the Sin City effect. It's a lot easier to do it in After Effects rather than Sony Vegas and other programs, but that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and thanks for watching.